in the uh, iron skillet and I put onions and cheese, purple cabbage, lettuce, pica de, de gallo, I don't know how you say it, pica de gallo, I guess that's how you say it, I don't know how you say it, but I made it fresh this morning, okay, now you put pieces of chicken on it, you can use canned chicken or you can roast the chicken and put it on it, either one. Now you can fold this up like a taco, or you can fold it uh, up like a uh, burrito, either one. Give me a minute and I wash my hands. Okay, we got fresh sriracha sauce. Put that around it. On it. Now we're going to add some cheese. Because we already got cheese melted on it. Now we need a little bit more cheese. Okay, and now we made this mayonnaise sauce up. It's uh, mayonnaise and uh, equal parts of... Uh, sour cream okay I'll tell you what all's in this right here in a minute and uh, it is uh, okay it is avocado ranch sauce that's what it is okay purple cabbage lettuce peak P-I-C-O-D-E-G-A-L-L-O. -L -L Cheese. You can add tomatoes. And, uh, you can add, uh, hot peppers to this. But this is what we're going to, uh, put on it. We put, uh, we fried it in the skill iron skillet for two minutes. We turned it over. Fried it another minute. Poked holes in it where it wouldn't pop, puff up. Then we put uh, onions, cheddar cheese, lettuce, purple cabbage, uh, sriracha sauce, and that P-I-C-D-E-G-A-L-L-O cheese. And I'm telling you what, that is the best thing I've ate in a long time. Yes. And if you hold on a second, I'll give you every direction how to make all these sauces if you want to make them homemade. Let me finish this and eat it. Okay, this is what's in this. Okay. Now, you're going to have... One fourth cup of mayo, one cup of sour cream, two chalupo peppers in adobo sauce, one half of lime juice, one clove of garlic, salt to pepper to taste. Now that's the C H I P O T L E sauce for tacos. Now you can buy that at the store. Okay, now the classic. P-I-C-O-D-E-G-A-L-L-O -L -L is one and one half pounds of Roman tomatoes, kosher salt, red onions, half of a red onion, one to two hot peppers, chili peppers, a J A L A P. E L O, then one half cup of honey, chopped fresh cilantro leaves. Wait a minute, that's wrong. 
one half cup of finely chopped fresh cilantro leaves, and one tablespoon of lemon juice. And that's how you make this sauce that I made. That's the P-I-C-D-E-G-A-L-L-O. You'll need some Roman tomatoes now. Okay, for your avocado salsa verde, you'll need one pound of tomatoes, juice of one lime, heap a teaspoon of salt, two cloves of garlic, and cucumber, medium onion, J-A-L-A-P-E-N-O pepper, you'll need one. Chopped up, and you can leave the seeds in or out, either one. One chopped cilantro, or use 0.5 cups of it. One avocado, peeled and cubed. Now that's how you make this sauce I made right here. The one that's got the mayonnaise and the... uh. Got the mayonnaise and the uh, sour cream in it. Okay, for the whole recipe, you'll need chicken, burritos, purple cabbage, avocado ranch sauce, lettuce, C-H-I-P-O-T-E sauce, P-I-C-O-D-E-G-A-L-L-O -L -L sauce, and make it. And you, uh, if you make that fresh, that pico de gallo, you can uh, chop that up in your uh, food processor too to make a sauce out of it instead of eating it like that. Or you can make a dip out of it, either one. And then you'll need cheese. Then you can put extra, if you want it to, tomatoes and a hot pepper, either one. But that's what you need to make this whole recipe right here. I hope you can follow along. And I hope you uh, will like this. I'll try to remember to leave the, in the comments how to make it. Thanks for watching. This is Tonya's Home Cooking on YouTube. Now, here's the purple cabbage. We cut that up in our uh, food processor on the slicing side. We, uh... Put the lettuce in the food processor on the slicing side. Don't forget your sriracha sauce. And your canned chicken. Or your uh, roasted chicken from the store. It don't matter. Then don't forget your cheese. And don't forget your avocado sauce. Don't forget it. Because you'll need that. I'll tell you what, this is the best thing I've ate in a long time. Heck yeah. Woohoo! That is good. You've got to try that. Remember, get your iron skillet, poke holes in your uh, shells where they don't rise up too much. Flip them over at two minutes, then one minute, then take them out. Get your cheese and all that put on it. And thanks for watching. Bye.